Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a player who goes by the name of Kudea Kone. Um, Kone is an Ivorian-born French international playing for the French U18s and U19s um, 12 times collectively. He is currently playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach in Germany. He has been playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach since January 2021. Um, this season has really been his breakout year uh, at the club. He has played 23 games in the Bundesliga and started 22 of them. Uh, he has also scored two goals in the Bundesliga, but you know that's not really his game. Um, his game, you know, is a box-to-box -box midfielder, winning the ball back and driving at the opposition players. Um, and I think that's really where he shines. He's he's a very very good carry of the ball, dri um, dribble over the ball, and he also has some pretty good um, tackling and intercepting numbers. And I really want to get into his stats and show you, you know what type of player he is. This season in the Bundesliga, Kone has attempted around three dribbles per 90 and he has completed about two of those so you know 70 percent um completion rate in his dribbles uh he is averaging um around 47 carries per 90 and 4.83 progressive carries which are carries um where he's dribbling the ball five yards or dribbling into the penalty area he's completing around 88 percent of his passes and he is averaging 4.83 progressive passes per 90. Um, his tackling and intercepting numbers He's averaging 5.8 tackles and interceptions per 90, and he is winning 2.8 fouls per 90. The real outstanding numbers I see in his stats are his dribbling and defensive averages, which are all in the, you know, the 90 plus percentile of the top five leagues. He strikes me as a very progressive midfielder who likes to drive at the opposition after winning the ball back. I think he's comparable to players like um, Arlian uh, Shuamini uh, from Monaco. Uh, also. I've seen him compared to players like Paul Pogba and labeled as a replacement for Paul Pogba. Um, obviously, Manchester United were interested in signing Kone when he was still in France playing for Toulouse, um, but they lost the battle, of course, to uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach when he was signed in 2021. And with attributes like this, you may be wondering, you know, wh where, where does he play? Um, you know, for, for Borussia Mönchengladbach, he has played in the number six role, obviously as a CDM. Or he's played in the number eight role as the box to box. The reason I'm actually doing this video was because I actually watched um, Kone play in his last game against FC Kon in the Bundesliga. Um, Borussia Mönchengladbach lost 3 1 in that game, but the reason I'm doing it on Kone is because in that match, he was really the only player showing any desire, any, any passion to, to win the ball back and, you know, bring it forward. And he's always. In the, in the game, he was always, always open for a pass. And, you know, he was, he was showing for the ball. And even at times dropping back to the center back position when his team was in possession, you know, to pick up the ball and drive it forward for, you know, his struggling team. He's really like um, a diamond in the rough in, in this Borussia Mönchengladbach side. They're, they're a side that's, you know, struggling this season. They're in about uh, mid-table. And it's really disappointing to see from a team um, like Borussia Mönchengladbach who were in the Champions League in the Europa League in previous years and bringing in a new coach like Adi Hutter from Eintracht Frankfurt you would think they you know they would be up in the you know top top six even um, and it's really disappointing to see from them but I think he's a real star in that in that team and I think they're definitely going to see an exodus of players in the summer like Matthias Ginter obviously they've already seen Dennis Zakaria leave um, to Juventus and I think maybe even Florian Newhouse will leave. And if Florian Newhouse does leave, then maybe Kone will stay. Um, you don't really know at this point. I think um, he could benefit from staying or leaving. Um, I can see him maybe going to, say, West Ham, uh, Declan Rice leaves or something like that. Man, you even, obviously, they were interested in him before. Um, I could really see anything happening for this guy. I think the sky's the limit for um, Kone. And I truly think, you know, if any team, you know, in the Premier League, in the Europa League, and any European competition should be looking at Kone if they're looking for, you know, a box-to-box -box midfielder that can carry the ball, that can win the ball back. You know, if your club is looking for one of those players, I think they should definitely be looking at a Kone. Obviously not the top, top European sides, but, you know, those, you know, the, the level under the top and maybe the level under, like, you know, for example, West Ham, um, Leon, uh, you know, just teams like that, you know, that are in the Euro, some of the better Europa League teams and the in the mid-tier Champions League teams should definitely be looking at Kone. You know, the, the, the price you would be 
looking to pay for him would you know be around 20 25 million i would think he's valued at around 16 million on transfer mark you know i i would think they would let him go for about 25 million possibly even 30 million but i think 30 million is the max they, they bought him for around 10 12 million from toulouse in 2021 so i don't think they'll be looking to sell but if a if a suitor was to come in with an offer of 20 30 million um i think they would accept it and i think it would be a great move for kone to to maybe move up a little bit and you know into a team that actually is playing in a european competition unlike Borussia Mönchengladbach. um i think Borussia Mönchengladbach are a great side and hopefully will you know perform to higher heights next season and if he does stay hopefully you know he'll be one of the star players in that team and i think he definitely will be but let me know what you think is next for kone will he leave is he gonna stay at borussia mönchengladbach um let me know and also let me know who do you want me to do next who do you want me to make a video on or do you guys want to see maybe some football manager content i'm a big fan of that game and i do play um, I'm currently doing a save with FC Con. Um, so just let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. If you want to see more of these type of videos, more of Football Manager, you know, may, uh, make sure to let me know in the comments um, what you want me to do next. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.